Okay, calm down. I know the address of Ronald's new house. The problem is getting the wardrobe over there. Hmm. Okay, so I had to start a new plutonium. <laughs> okay, give me. King Kong, can I talk to him? I'd like to honor you by pounding my chest, but I'll get no more than a xylophone sonata. Okay. At school, I was a dud even with the flute. Who knows what a ruckus I could make on the drums. Okay. I'm... I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> Cusco. It's Cusco. <laughs> okay. Hydrant. Impossible. It's sealed tight from the rust. Axe. I can't have the axe. No way. It's closed. And I can imagine who has the keys. Hmm. Okay. Let's go in here then. Hey, boy. You finally woke up. You know you could have broken your neck. This is not a fun fair. I do have a mentic root. Please don't scream at me. What's wrong with you? How would you feel if your roots were torn from the ground? Technically, I've had the life torn from my body, but I'm not making all this fuss like you. Choppy. <laughs> Chompy, oh my god, from Fairy of Parents. Chompy, Chompy on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Apart from you, obviously. And then the uh, Aku Aku is what this is. Oh my god. A <laughs> top rail's tiring. Okay. Seven okay, books but... and eight movies didn't teach you anything? But it's not a thing anymore. Water sprayer's bow tie. Can I have that? Ha. Ah. Why? Do you really want me to talk to a picture painted on the floor? When you cross talk the street, about do you it. ask permission of the zebra crossing? Oh, this is talk to. This is talk about. From what I understand, Jeez. this can be used for satanic rituals, even to conjure demons. Can I stuff Hope something in that wrong. thing's mouth to make it stop shouting at me? As much as the idea fascinates me, I should really give it up. I don't know much about esoteric activities. Take away alcohol from a grown man? I would kill anyone who touched my snack. Um... I see you love black magic. Are you some sort of wizard? I don't like that tone. Black magic is neither shallow nor vapid. It's real art. Of course. I didn't think for a moment it wasn't. And do you ever wear the pointy hat with the little stars? Hmm. <laughs> At the birthday parties. Ah. Well, aren't you tall, eh? My grandpa put steroids in my baby food when I was a kid. Oh. Okay, this time I really put my foot in my mouth. Hey, I meant what I said. Okay. Thanks for helping me. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not interested at all in your health. I just wanted to be sure a dead brat doesn't get in my way. Then you shouldn't even be talking to me. Did you say something? Ah, forget <clears throat> it. Post-traumatic ramblings. Post-traumatic I better go. See you around. Don't get into any more trouble. Okay. I have nothing I want to get rid of. Okay. Though, come to think of it. Shut up. I'm talking about me. It seems to be a map of the area. Hey, we're, we're by the sea. That van went a long way. Hmm. <laughs> it's a slender thing. Slenderman. Slenderman everywhere. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Can I go out here? Also just realized that King Kong is on Godzilla. It's not a good idea to venture outside flying blind. I'm not from around here. You just saw a map. Uh, didn't take it. I need to take the map, don't I? Did 
Did I click on the inside by mistake? I did. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Not bad, this map. Er, did you know that you can open it at any moment by pressing the triangle button or selecting it from the top right corner of the inventory? And what are you doing here? Are you some sort of stalker? Please, I'm just omniscient. I don't want to disturb you further. Good luck with that wardrobe. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Now, right? Uh, better wait until it gets dark, when everyone will be in costume. Okay. Ah, right. A few hours later. All clear. Okay. What to do now? Hey, wow, pinhead. an American party! <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's what they look like. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, can I read it? I love you, forgive me, but I can't even start this letter any other way. You're everything to me, and you know it. You're, you've always, I can't recur, been, from the first moment I looked into your eyes, I know that it will be like this forever, and that's why I don't want to spend even another night without knowing we're in neck in neck. I can't tell what that word says. Down to each other, marry me. Okay. Sleeping pinhead. Let's see. I could sing him a lullaby. Lullaby, lullaby, you. Who will I give this baby to? Keep singing. I'll give it to Santa Claus and he will drink it in his house. Can I'll give sing? it to the old witch and she will fall into a ditch. Everyone knows she can't handle her drink. Go I'll on. give it to a complete fool and he will slip into the pool. Mm -hmm. I'll drink it with my stupid friend and all our money we will spend. Happy alcoholic dreams, little star. <laughs> Happy alcoholic dreams. <laughs> this is a great garden decoration. Much better than the gnomes. Totally fake grave. Let's go in here. Hi. Bungee jumping. It says birthday cake. Do you know I don't that? know what I expected, but I'm disappointed. Hmm. Wait a minute. Since when do I speak Chinese? Yeah. Shenron, revive Krillin. Don't get smart with me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Didn't think you could talk. I didn't think you could talk. I'm a Suko Magami, a thousand year old object, so I've received a soul as a gift. Oh. A Tsuku what? You can just call me Suko. Oh, all right. Are you some sort of carrot? I'm not gonna say that. Can you sing me something? I know a song you might like. Oh boy. Okay, now that's racist mm, or not. I do not doubt your vocal skills, but actually I'm more of a metal guy. A death metal guy. <laughs> do I look like someone who could sing something like that with these clothes on? I Bye. have to go. Zaijin. Don't know what that says. Hermit, hello. Uh, excuse me? <clears throat> He's got things in his ears. Mister? I don't want to bother you, but... Damn it, old man! I am talking to you! <laughs> Your approach is ill <coughs> for a civil discussion between adults. You're, You're right. ignoring me. I went too far. I forgive you. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. I forgive you. You only said it once. Don't you think you're a bit too old to live in a treehouse? Verily. I have Verily? dwelled here for 63 very long years. 
Oh, sorry. Is he I had no his idea. Beard? Be not ashamed, boy. I forgive you. I don't understand this obsession you have with saying I forgive you. You must be a person of unsurpassed goodness. In truth, I am not, boy. When I was a mere lad, I was besought to play a priest for school theater. People rushed from all the neighboring towns to grace us with their presence. Everything proceeded perfectly, and I felt the pride swell in my then tiny body, covered in a black robe. But alas, during the third act, the confessional collapsed upon me and hurt my head. People were greatly dismayed when they saw the little minister on the ground, senseless. I hung betwixt life and death for two whole days, and then I awoke. Ever since, I cannot resist uttering, I forgive you all the time. <laughs> uh, yes, very interesting. Okay, bye. I'll leave you to your extremely busy life. The door of my dwelling will always be open to you. Especially Can since I you don't have a cat? door. Can I pet the cat? I can't. Can I have this? It's too high. I can't reach it. Ah, okay. Out we go. Oh, that's what this is. For party this way. Hello. What's wrong with you? I can't talk to you. I'd like to talk to you, though. What do you want? Why are you so Why angry? Why are you so angry? Upstairs is close, and we can't do hanky panky with my blondie girlfriend upstairs. Given the circumstances, I'll volunteer myself as interpreter. The room on the upper floor is closed, so my girlfriend and I can't find a place where we can have a little alone time. The second upstairs is redundant. Ah. How come the door is closed? That stupid Johnny Blonde is there with his brunette whore. That unintelligent blonde man Johnny has shut himself in the room with that morally loose, dark-haired girl. She must be Thank quite you, famous around here. Bad story, yep. Listen, since you can't go up there, why don't you give me a hand getting a wardrobe from the dump? Bite me. Tasty refusal. <laughs> Tasty what if refusal. I find a way to clear the room? Why not? I suppose in this case, I can accept. Okay, <laughs> don't move and don't abuse that girl while I'm gone. I'm not drinking booze. Yeah, nice. No booze. Okay. I better go now. And we go. <gasps> Spirited away! And Jack Skeleton! I didn't notice those two things there! <laughs> it was no facing Jack. <laughs> and it's, and it's Morpheus. <laughs> what is happening over here? Is that you talking? Hello, Frank. Can you tell me what you keep saying? Nonsense I need to say to learn that crazy Johnny. He seems to love a good public rambling. Try using a mousetrap. You're not funny. Who said <laughs> I'm trying to be? You're not funny. Sorry, were you calling me? Are you Donnie? My name's Skinny. <sighs> they told me the guy was a bit mad, but now I've had enough. I know it's none of my business, but can I ask why you're looking for him? <sighs> Are you Donnie? I already told you my name's Skinny. Then mind your own business. How can you be such a bastard? Uh, I, I can, can do, do anything, anything I want, and so can you. Okay. See you later, Playboy Bunny. See you later, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> the storm is coming. What is happening with this guy in the background? I'm here. Oh, oh hey, alien. Congratulations! Great music! I don't think he can hear me. Nope. Oh, the balloons. They're not... <laughs> Oops. Ooh, there's a lot of people. Okay, we got a drunken pirate, flying Dutchman, Carney, Frankenstein's wife. <laughs> that looks like Popeye. <laughs> With, oh, what's wrong, flying? 
Oh, okay. Can I, can I talk to you? What's wrong up there? Don't have too much fun up there, old pal. Okay. <laughs> Judas, no! I prefer to let him focus on his beer pong. <laughs> Jesus. I have nothing so important to ask to interrupt him. After all, I stopped believing in him a long time ago. And about you, Mayor. Mayor dear. <laughs> I love that vine. <laughs> Why do you drink all that tea? I only sleep 14 minutes a day, which leaves me a lot of time to work. That didn't answer my question. Egon, <laughs> tell him about the Twinkie. It's gone. It fell into the tea while I was dipping it. I mean the big one. That's classified information. You know that. You should really stop drinking for the night. What? Before all this caffeine pushes me beyond the capacity for rational thought, too. Okay. <laughs> Never wake a Mexican guy from his siesta. Never. Okay. I remind you that the single time she spoke, she burned up an entire lab. Still sure you want to talk to her? Never mind. <clears throat> Carney. Hey, kid. Try your luck at the mechanical fish ride. Playing is simple. You must reel in any of the fish in the tank. Nothing easier, right? Try my luck. Now I remember why I hated going to the fair. The fishing rod is clearly rigged. Okay, what's in here? <laughs> Check this out. We have guests. Um. Let me welcome you Master to my Chief. little abode. I think Zelda over there. For you, author of this video game, from now on you can count on my unconditional hate. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, believe me. <laughs> Oh, boogeyman. Okay. Come closer. I can't hear you from there. Um, I just remembered. I have an urgent meeting to attend. I have to go. I want to walk closer. That's as far as he walks. Okay, let's go back. Do 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 do. For the they painted that on the wall just for that party. Or is that always there? Never talked to Morpheus. Six hours, forty-two minutes, twelve hey. seconds. Good evening. How's it going? My name's Skinny. At last. Welcome. Please come. <clears throat> Sit. Where? I suppose you haven't noticed there's only one chair, right? You see, you may have spent the last few years of your life looking for me, but I just the movie? spent my I entire life looking for you. Actually, we just met. Not that I have any objections, but I don't think you'd be my type anyway. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. I thank you, decline your offer, and move on. <laughs> now I've really got to go, before I go mad as well. And we'll be screwed if at least one of us doesn't remain sane around here, right? Mm -hmm. That is when the world will end. I can't talk to any of these people. Okay. Upstairs we go. Ooh, you okay, buddy? Probably not. I don't want my sweater stained by puke. Thanks. Will hear us. Bird. Cracker. Cracker. Come on, stupid bird. Repeat it. Cracker. You brainless moron biped, my intellectual capacities are way Ooh. superior to yours. Oh. What? What did you say? What? Cracker. <laughs> Cuddle me, hot stuff. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's obviously the room they're in. But what's going on in this room? Mm. Oh, no, I don't want to peek. Okay, get back me out. Back, back out of this. G get out. Get out of this! Damn, I'm out again. That's a guy, so calm down. Mm. What's with this thing? Ah. <laughs> he <and Sid's. laughs> What else we got? 
Ah. Can I show the page? No. Rocco's Hotline. 80, 69, 69. <laughs> Hot, naughty, courteous. Express Courier. 24 hours, 7 days a week. 0, 0, 8, 4, 5, 8, 9, 0, 1. All packages must be impact proof, water repellent, and the contents must be clearly indicated outside the box. Hmm. I could pack up the wardrobe and ship myself to Ronald's new house. Hmm, there you go. I'm sorry, am I meant to Express be taking Corey. this? What am, I, what am I doing? Hmm. I press circle and this popped up. That's not the button I need for... Uh... Feed me any more? Would you be so kind not to eat me? I'm definitely not a military forces <laughs> expert. My knowledge stops at Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. I love all the little references. <laughs> what the hell? The best interplanetary delivery man. He even seems less sleepy than usual. Okay. I'm gonna go back to in the kitchen. I never checked the fridge or if there's anything else I can interact with, actually. Six hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. Yeah, okay, I can do the fridge. That's about it. Okay, fridge. <laughs> oh, hello. Thank you, bird. Um, Dexter. Um,. Lost boys. What what can I take from here? Even if my social life isn't as active as before. Okay. Putting a bunch of worms in my body is not among the best ideas you've ever had. Um is that it really? It's been slung directly into the oven. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Get me out of here. Twenty-eight days, six hours, forty-two minutes, twelve seconds. Did I even look at stuff in here? I don't think I did. Hi again. Rain? I finally found something to give you for your next birthday. Shut up. Boogie, let's hypothetically accept that I get closer to the shadow. Yes? Well, should... should I be afraid for my safety? Not at all. I will gladly take care of your soul. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for reassuring me. Okay. Don't know why I want that. Can I have this? Never mind. The Russians are coming! Uh, sorry, that was another video game. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't know Master Chief? And no, I'm not talking about the cooking talent show. That's Master Chef. Obviously, with a safety helmet like this one, doing wheelies on a motorbike would look very cool. Okay, so there's nothing else to do. <coughs> Hang on. What? Ah! <laughs> okay. Thought I looked at a place. Weird. Uh, is there anything outside I possibly need? Hours, minutes, Cup stack. 
But yeah, there's no face. Uh, Jack Skeleton. Do I need any of these or what? Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know why I need that. Mm. Cuddle me, hot stuff. Mm. Can I come in? Go away! Ronald gets mad when I knock on the door while he's in the bath, too. I don't know why everyone got so crabby. <laughs> okay. Hurry! In the closet! Mm. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. For a, a bit of lateral thinking surely doesn't hurt, but here we are getting into nonsense. Okay. I hmm. don't follow. No, okay. Doll with hair? I was incomplete voodoo doll. Okay. Uh, how would I complete this? Uh, also, who is. Oh, blonde, the guy. Okay. I was gonna say who's Wrong blonde. turn. Well, I'm just picking things up. I wouldn't know how to use it. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a good plan, which will not work. Do, 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 do. No heat sources oh, oh, nor oh, missing oh, limbs, oh, remember? Oh, 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 oh. I gotta watch the pentagram, don't I? Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Okay. Hey. There's any of these, and that's it. Uh, crap, what was that number? I gotta go back and write down that number, don't I? Damn it. Alright, let me go get that number. <laughs> do, 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 do. I want to know what happens if I call the other lines. Ah! Okay, I'm going to circle this one. That's the one I have to do. But I'm also going to call Yensid. And Cave Johnson. <laughs> Cave Johnson. <laughs> it's kind of simple. <laughs> Cave Johnson's shower curtains. 206-002-456. I hope at least these are not a lie. <laughs> uh, I want to call that now. <coughs> <coughs> Two six zero zero two. Is that what he said? Cave Johnson's shower curtains. Two oh six zero zero two four five six. These these are not a lie. Ugly. What? Okay. How do I get out of this? There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my throat hurts. Into the box, please. <laughs> okay, answer it first. Do you think telephone booths work for charity? <gasps> I don't have coin. I certainly don't want to tamper with the telephone booth. Do I look like a small-time crook, maybe? Mm-hmm. I don't have coin. It's the hole where you put the coins <sighs> in. Well, doesn't matter. I can't do anything. Oh, circle also gets me to here. That's why. What is this? Can I go back here and do the thing with the thing? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, Pennywise. Get the fuck out. Need to borrow your circle, please. I suppose I need to find a way to attach the hair to it first. What? Better not. Okay. Uh, go. Just okay. Never mind. <laughs> Can I? Nope. Can't. Okay. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Wait, can I go somewhere else that I haven't been before? No, it's not gonna let me go anywhere else. Alright, might as well go there. <coughs> hmm. How would I go anywhere else? Can you sew it into a thing? Wake up, old man! You needn't shout like that. You're right. Excuse me. I forgive you. Listen, could you maybe sew some of this hair on the head of this doll? An unusual request. But I perceive no reason not to indulge you. Give it to me. Okay, thank you. Too kind. Cool. I'm assuming this is the place I go, this is the place I go, this is the place I go, maybe the lighthouse, and maybe museum in here? I don't know, it seems like a big place. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> There's a coin in here or something? No. Where would I find a coin? It's really fun around here. I think it's deadly boring. With extremely loud music, people dancing or getting hammered with beer. Jeez, very original, huh? Hmm. What else is there to do around here, then? I personally prefer quieter places. If I were you, I'd go to Roswell Pond or the beach. I even saw a complete lunatic who said he invented a time machine. Do you believe in time travel? Um, I wouldn't know. I've never thought about it. It seems like nonsense to me. Aha! Why are you wearing that stupid bunny suit? Why are you wearing that stupid skeleton suit? Actually, I'm... <sighs> Forget it. <laughs> See you Actually later, did. Playboy Bunny. See you later, Lindsay Lohan. That is when the world will end. Okay. Hmm. I wanna go where it looks like there's a giant meteor. Hey, two! Do you know what's round, soft, and juicy? A tomato? No, stupid. A nice child. Flowey! How many times <laughs> it took me have a I second. got to tell you? I'm done eating children. I'm a fruitarian now. And what the hell does that mean? I only feed on fruit, and just the ones that fall from trees to the ground. You won't last more than a week. You'll see. You're really the black sheep of our family. Hi, Flowey. I don't want any LV from you. I'm an acid <laughs> guy. <laughs> you yourself with love. Ah, love. Captured <clears throat> forever in undying memory. At least until they cut down the tree. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Why is he over here now? 
It's always a pleasure to see you. Quite a nice place you got here for a barbecue with family. I your life choice perfectly. Oh, sorry. Really? I had no idea. I eat only children too. And yet I can't imagine that an attractive mummy like you... Don't beat yourself up. I'm sure you'll find your soulmate. You just have to be patient. Now, I really have to go, Mr... Mr. Silence. Okay. I would have exterminated whole hordes of you to shoot down your 300-point spaceship. Okay. Can I go in there, or is that just a... Now I understand what the media meant when they predicted an alleged alien invasion back in the 80s. <laughs> Do. Do you want to hear some news that will make you happy? I'm drinking juice. Guess what flavor it is, too? Grapefruit? Child. Uh, can I have some of that, too? <laughs> Are they talking to me when they do that? It's best not to get involved in certain private business. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do in here. So let's go to the beach. Going to the beach. Stepping on the beach, do 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 do. Stepping on the beach, do do do. Uh, I don't know if you're a man or a woman. I don't know if I should look at your chest or not. Calls room with apples. Don't think you can put everything that pops into your head inside my rib cage. Well, okay. Just because we're in an adventure game, that doesn't mean you get to bother whoever's around. Okay. Um. Van Gogh? Who exactly are you? I'm Pat. The wicked conscience of this little, miserable man. He kept me dormant inside him for years without listening to me. But you know, when you insist on suppressing every frustration, you're inevitably destined to blow up sooner or later. And so now, I am in charge. <laughs> okay. Why does he have those wounds on his back? Soul possession brings some... Well, some severely violent consequences with it. Let's just say that whoever suffers from it momentarily loses Pokemon. his senses and in the end turns to self-harm. And in case he survives, his mind comes under my control. As you must have noticed by now. Okay. I'll leave you to your... As you know. Okay. I'd prefer not to risk finding a snake under my sweater. Oh, 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 okay. I, I really don't know what to say. It's a child's dream coming true. I wouldn't really know where to start. Better avoid problems. FBI, Officer Skinny. Walter Skinny. <laughs> this reminds me of the famous 1947 accident, but I'm not a U.S. government agent. Okay. What do I have on me? The batteries are missing. Okay. I think it acts as a key for the spaceship or something like that. Can I put it back then? I already took it and have no intention of putting it back. Okay. What else can you do with an empty glass at a party? Don't rely on me for all the answers. I'd rather keep it in the bottle. Okay. A bit of lateral thinking surely doesn't... Shush. <laughs> <clears throat> I obviously can't take that. Okay. Haha, <laughs> yeah, cat. Ah, oh, more Pokemon. What are those blood stains you have on you? Oh, not a big deal. A little accident while I was working on a d d different project. How many did you kill till now? D don't be silly. I conduct experiments on d dead bodies. 
dead bodies that were alive before, by any chance? If there's really shortage of raw material, those too. Is this your time machine? Yes, but it is still an experimental prototype. The usual excuse is to say it doesn't work. It'll work. Just watch and see. And finally, everybody will stop saying that I'm just a c c crazy, stutterer, anemic guy. But you're not anemic. That's what I c keep saying myself. How do you know you're not anemic? I'll come back later. I'm sorry, this is on now? Too lazy to wrap a noose around your neck? That bridge is too far from home? The suicide booth is your solution. Select the type of death among the available options. Slow and agonizing. Fast and painless. Clumsy. I don't think there's anything clumsier than choking unexpectedly because of an allergy to plums. It seems they also have a customer care line. The telephone number is 00017170. Now don't say I never do anything for you. <laughs> I think I'll suggest installing one of these near your house. Oh, you gosh. never know when the urge to end it all might hit you. <laughs> That's too real. All right, I really just came for the batteries. Okay, cool, that one. Uh, back to the beach? I don't know. Is there anything else in here? Can't you see it's stuck in the thorns? Okay. <laughs> nope, nothing else. <gasps> Wait a second. Six hours, forty two minutes. Well, Mr. Ebri, I have a flashlight. What the hell, kid? He really got me, so credit to him. Oh. Gonna take this now. Thank you. With your permission, I'll take it, Boogie. Go ahead. You earned it. <laughs> what else? Okay. Where did those come from? They're the posters for a horror billy concert that will be held tonight at the old cemetery. My brother didn't want any interference for his party, so he tore down as many as he could. The whole neighborhood was practically wallpapered with them. Just have your party a different day. You're having fun, eh? Tyler didn't want me in the way, so he closed me in here. I had to do something to fill all this time. Tyler? My older brother. He's the guy who arranged the party. I was bored, so I thought it would be fun to scare anyone who walked into the storage room by mistake. If I was in your shoes, I would have done much worse. Okay. Um, that's a problem. Okay. Do 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 do. Boony boo boo boo. Why did it go up like that? Can I go from inside? Oh. Okay. Let's see what references I get here. <laughs> Oliver. Ronald and I love to watch their black and white movies. Mm. It's a single epitaph subdivided onto the two gravestones. It's chilly down here. 
Not even death made them lose their sense of humor. Look, Mom, I'm in a video game. <laughs> I can gladly do without the holiness. It's not for me. Ah, Digilet. Or Digi, yeah, Digilet, right? A statue in the city graveyard is the right tribute to one of the heroes of my video gaming childhood. Ooh, flux capacitor. I'll take that up on you. What do I need with a flux capacitor that doesn't flux? Oh. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? Little thug. Oh boy. Hey guys, can I have some of your firecrackers? Ask your mother to buy you some. And get out of our way. Can't you see we're busy? Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go in here. Is there a child under that? No. But that's grandma. Ronald's grandma, I mean. Hey, it's the it's the don't starve people. What was that? Can can you pop up again? Uh, uh, break glass and don't only panic. in case of emergency. <laughs> well, grandma, hello. Hi, grandma. I'm I'm Ronald. Uh, Grandma, I can't really understand what you're saying. She's angrily Okay. Here lies Wilson Percival Higgisbury, exceptional scientist who fatally wounded himself with a razor blade. Here rests Woody the Lumberjack, asphyxiated after inhaling some silver powder. Here, Wilbur the Monkey King is buried, dead on the spot having slipped on a banana peel. Here, Willow the Arsonist found her eternal peace, dead for the joy of a great fireworks show. <laughs> I had no idea they had followers in the arachnid world as well. Okay, is that all? Oh wait, what's this? Too sticky. I won't be able to get it off my hands. The thread of a spider web is made of such resistant material, it would make even Frodo's mithril chain mail seem flimsy. All the references. They come up with all kinds of excuses to mask their hoarseness. <laughs> what else is there to do? I was gonna say, I'd love to see how that's in there. Hmm. Where do I need to take something up? Anywhere? Hmm. Hmm. Never mind. I forgot what was over here. Uh. Wait a second. Uh, this one. Also, Hydra. Also, that wolf thing looks familiar too. Ah, hey there. These are technically yours. Damn my age. Ronald, Grandma's sweetheart, you came to see me? You're so emaciated. Are you eating enough? I have a serious allergy to plums that totally ruined my will to live. Well, sometimes we all get a bit constipated. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Try some baked apples or kiwis. <laughs> okay, um... Grandma, didn't you have yourself cremated? Do you really think I'd let them lock me up in a vase? I corrupted the gravedigger by telling him to fill the urn with chewing gum. I noticed that. 
Your <laughs> favorites. Anything for my little Ronnie. Can you make that man stop doing that? What is Grandpa doing over there? He's been trying to get out of his coffin for days now. Except every time he forgets to watch his head. Well, at least he leaves you alone. It's about time. It wasn't enough for him to torture me when I was alive. I didn't even have time to die before he felt compelled to do the same. It'd really be too much for her. <laughs> okay. I'll come back and visit you very soon, Grandma. Okay, I guess that was just... Uh, Wait a minute, Ronald. What? It's dangerous out there. It's full of atheists. Take this. <laughs> a little help from above could always be useful. Should I give it to Jesus? Um... First, it should be lit, and then picked up. Fine. Automatic lighting system. Activated. What? Who, who and what? What and who? Portal? Portal and uh, these the developers? What, 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 I don't know who people are. What ugly mugs. Speak for yourself. Did I just imagine it, or did that head say something? Nothing at all. Very good. For a moment, I thought I'd gone mad. Okay. I didn't know how to name him. <laughs> I didn't know how to name him. <laughs> I have the vague impression that someone here lost their inspiration. I didn't know how to name him. Am I right? You didn't know how to name what? You. It's your name. No, I have no name. Maybe it's precisely because your parents didn't know how to name you. Hmm, perhaps. So I'm right. That's your name. I already told you it's not my name. Okay. Um. What happened to your arm? I was too hungry, and I bit it. It must have really hurt. But it was good. I'm assuming you're a cannibal, then. I make no distinction when there's food involved. <laughs> you don't mean to try to eat me too, right? If they were all like you, I'd have starved to death by now. Actually, you're right. You should get yourself in shape again. Why do you say that? Maybe because you can't even get out of your burial plot? I just put myself on a diet. I haven't touched a pizza in weeks. Only because he devoured the Aram Boy too last time. Who said that? I'm going out for a walk. Maybe you can join me later, okay? There must be a reason it's been here for so many years without anyone picking it. Hello. Good evening. Hi, pretty bones. What? 
What happened to your head? My dear, I'm a zombie. I'm decomposing. Yes, I read the hotspot label, but it was hard to believe. Oh, sweetie pie, you're making me blush. But then again, it's normal to cause confusion when you're lucky enough to putrefy in such a sublime way. I could even be envious. What, what, what is with all of these things? What are you doing locked in here? This was the crypt of my family once, so I was buried here. A long time ago, it seems. Exactly how old are you? Don't be rude, darling. It's not polite to ask a zombie his age. I humbly apologize. So, you like brains, right? Of course, pretty bones. I love brains. But only the male ones. If you know what I mean. Only too well. You smell really good. Oh, honey, slow down with the advance. Don't be so shameless. I use a mix of bubble bath and body butter. They're really great. Okay. Anyway, I must say that for a little bone like you, you smell good too. Thank you. Nice dress. I wore it on the day of my wedding. I guess it's a memory you really care about. Obviously, considering it's the same day I committed suicide. Okay. Forgive me, I didn't know. Cyanide, for the record. She was incredibly beautiful, but she wasn't exactly my type. I suppose it wasn't about the color of her hair. And I couldn't stand that she had smoother skin than mine. I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. Okay, I really have to go now. Come back and visit me sometime, little star. Okay. Eighteen sixty one. Pretty self explanatory, I'd say. I never figured you would be valued as an antique. I would have thought you were good for scrap tops. Okay. Whispering is stuff. Um can I at least look at it? Ah, okay. Ah. Chapter 3. Voodoo Practices. How to get revenge on the school bullies while keeping your distance. Recover some hair or nail samples from the concerned bully and attach it to a doll. Then place a voodoo doll in the center of a pentacle. Close your eyes and channel your hate on the bully. Imagining him with his head in the toilet increases the chance of success. If the ritual is successful, the doll will assume the features of the designated victim. Grab a needle or some pins to stick into the voodoo doll. Enjoy your revenge. Aktung. Don't damage the doll by removing its limbs or head. Keep out of reach of children. Okay. Chapter 4. Love Potions. How to get out of the friend zone and overcome I don't know, restraining love orders. Him. Nope. Acquire a photo of your future love. You shouldn't have problems after so many years of stocking. Dip some rose petals and cloves in a water and red wine solution. Bring the mixture to a boil. After cooling, drink the love potion you just completed. Wait comfortably at home for his or her arrival. Aktung. Always remember to take proper precautions. Okay. Um, can I do the thing now? Now that he knows how to do it? <laughs> you want this? There you go. On the house. You can never say no to a drink. <laughs> he looks so happy. Yes, good boy. <laughs> drink. <laughs> Oof. Don't look at me that way. I had no other choice. Look at him. He's sleeping like an angel. A few hours of sleep won't be bad for him. He was too stressed. Okay, so now I should be able to do this, right? <laughs> 